What's going on guys and welcome back to another Bears franchise gameplay. This is week number 9 and our 5-3 and three Chicago Bears are getting ready to travel to Tennessee to take on the 3-4 and four Titans. Our Bears are coming off an amazing win last week. If you didn't catch last week's game against the New Orleans Saints, do yourself a favor, go ahead and check that one out. Amazing game, Eddie Pinguero, the uh, game winning field goal, a walk off game winning field goal, just an amazing game, amazing game, gotta go check that one out. Um, anyways, going to look to keep, uh, keep the streak alive, keep getting these, uh, racking up these wins. As you see, we want to take a look at um, some of the stats for our Bears so far this year. I said before that I wasn't sure who I was going to start, Mitchell Trubisky or Nick Foles. Um, obviously, in, the, in real life, Nick Foles has already won the starting uh, has won the starting job, and Mitchell Trubisky has been benched. A um, little bit of a shocker there, but anyways, in this CM, uh, CFM, uh, Mitchell Trubisky is going to be our starting quarterback. I think he's going to be the guy that I rock. Well, not think. I know that he is going to be the guy that we rock with for the remaining of this uh, remain, remainder of this season. Um, just really like what he brings to the table. Yeah, I do, do still get pissed off a, a few times because um, Trubisky does have the tendency to overthrow some wide open drags, which I still, for the life of me, I can't understand how you overthrow a drag route. But Trubisky finds a way. Um, checking out some defensive stats here. Buster Scrine having a pretty decent season so far with three interceptions. Uh, Danny Shabrathan and Eddie Jackson also both have two inter uh, interceptions as well. Oh, wait, no. Uh, Eddie Jackson has six. Um, the biggest shock, though, is as you see, I'm looking at my, my sacks, and no, it's not messed up. I'm not doing anything wrong. Um, I don't have any sacks at all on this year, on, on the season. So we're at week nine, or yeah, we're at week nine, and we still have yet to have one sack. It's not like my guys have been injured. Khalil Mack has been in the entire season. It's just, for whatever reason, Madden 21, I can't get a pass rush, and we don't have our first, we don't have a sack at all. But anyways, here we are getting ready to kick off to these uh, Tennessee Titans. Titans have also made a lot of trades. I should have mentioned that before. Titans have made a lot of trades. Initially, I was thinking that I was going to have to worry about Derrick Henry in this game. Um, no, this, my opponent, he ended up trading away Derrick Henry, I guess. I'm guessing for Melvin Gordon. Um, I guess. I mean, I, me personally, I think I would have rather had Derrick Henry. But, hey, his team, let, let him run it how he wants to. First and 10, they hand it off to Melvin Gordon, Dean, about four yards. And come back on second down. Uh, they still got Tannehill, and they still have A.J. Brown, and, they, and those two connect and keep the chains moving for these Titans. Right back on first down, and I guess this is why you go and trade Mel, uh, Derrick Henry away from Melvin Gordon. Melvin Gordon with the amazing juke in open field made two Bears defenders just look completely stupid. Oh, my God. And just got, uh, scampers his way into the end zone. Um... Rough start there on defense. I thought I would have been able to box up the run a little bit better just because I didn't have to worry about Derrick Henry, but still, apparently Melvin Gordon is still that dude. So, anyways, Bears looking to answer on their first drive of the game with a touchdown. Try to get something going on on our own on the ground to Cordell Patterson. It gains about three yards. Second and seven, taking a shot deep for Allen Robinson. Trubisky's able to connect with him down to the 35-yard line. First and 10, handed right back off to Cordell Patterson. He's able to find some room, gains about 14 to 15 yards on first down. RPO to Anthony Miller, gets us down to the 10-yard line. Bears are moving right now. Inside the 10, uh, we're going to go ahead and hand it off to Cordell Patterson and just go ahead and hope, just keep running the ball with him. Um, I don't feel comfortable throwing the ball in this situation, and luckily we don't have to. Hand it off to Cordell Patterson. He looks like he got stopped at the one, but I guess he was able to stretch the ball across the goal line. And the Bears answer the Titans' first touchdown of the game with a touchdown on their own. Uh, so coming back on defense, definitely going to be looking to stop the run. Uh, might put a few more people in the box, maybe start to pinch the defensive line a little bit more. But we also got to worry about the pass, passing threat by these uh, Titans. Um, Ryan Tannehill just a complete misfire right there on first down. Had a guy wide open. I don't think he had very much pressure on him, just completely missed it. Third and eight, 
uh, Tannehill drops back to throw. Everything was pretty much covered deep. He checks it down underneath to Adam Humphreys, and we're able to close on that and force the punt. So beautiful, uh, beautiful series right there. Um, as long as he's not running the ball and we get him in third and long situations, I feel good about our chances in this game. Uh, first and 10, try to hit a nice little out route to Anthony Miller. Ends up getting swatted away. Could have been picked off just like this pass right here going deep to uh, Allen Robinson. Trubisky kind of left that one in the middle of the field a little bit too much, and he's just lucky. Luckily, he didn't get uh, intercepted. Uh, what was that? Third down, we end up connecting with Anthony Miller across the middle. Keeps the chains moving. Trubisky drops back on first and 10 from the 47 and finds Anthony Miller one more time. Anthony Miller has pretty much been our go-to guy so far this season. Um, really, I, re I really want to start. Uh, hopefully, we can start developing him. Uh, haven't gotten any other dev upgrade opportunities from it, uh, from that. But anyways, or for him, I should say. What am I talking about? Anyways, Cordell Patterson is able to get into the end zone. Bears now have a 14-7 uh, to 7 lead on the Titans. Um, our lo their last offensive possession, they haven't ran they didn't run the ball, and we did a pretty decent job of locking up the pass. Uh, first and ten, he goes right back to the pass. We go for the big hit. I think that was Buster Scrine we try to hit him with. And he just bounces off of uh, A.J. Brown. A.J. takes it down to the opposite 40-yard line. Ryan Tannehill back to pass the ball again. And who's this? I think that was Jonu he was trying to uh, connect with. Jonu Smith unable to hold on to that catch in traffic. Second and 10. Checks it down underneath to Raymond, who takes a huge hit but holds on to the ball and picks up the first down. Great job, a great catch by him. I definitely thought that was going to be a drop ball at least or a fumble. Uh, second and 10, misfire there by Tannehill. Throws it behind the receiver. Still throwing the ball. Haven't seen Ma uh, Melvin Gordon touch the ball very much since that first drive. But, hey, I am perfectly fine with that. Keep throwing the ball. Eventually, our, I, I feel comfortable in this uh, with this Bears defense that we're going to force the turnovers. We're going to force uh, Tannehill to throw an interception or something. Ended up holding them to a, a field goal on this drive. So, like I said, we're feeling pretty good right now. Um, the Titans are – I don't know what he's doing, really. Um you scored in, what, two or three plays on your first series by running the ball with Melvin Gordon. Made two of my defenders look stupid in, in open field. And Melvin just hasn't touched the ball since then. So, hey, that's how he wants to play. I'll allow it. First and ten, Trubisky tries to hit Cordell Patterson on a angle route. He ends up dropping the ball. Come back on second now, trying to hand it off to Cordell Patterson because he's been our go-to guy so far on this offense. Ends up gaining two yards, and on third and eight, Trubisky again for the third time is luckily lucky he's not intercepted. And uh, the Titans end up stopping us on our uh, our next possession and forcing a punt. And I don't know where Raymond thought he was going on this punt. Um, you got to start running north or north and south, my guy. East and west ain't going to get you any yards. Uh, first and ten looks like he's finally gotten back to getting back to his uh, his what was working on that first drive of the game. Hands it off to Melvin Gordon. Melvin's able to pick up a gain of about 10-plus yards. Uh, right back to Gordon on first and 10 from the 45. Picks up three yards. Uh, second and seven. Tannehill's dropping back to throw. Connects with Corey Davis across the middle. Gets him one yard shy of the first down marker. Third and one. Tannehill's going to drop back to throw again. And this time, Gibson. Is there to pick, uh, break up the pass. Uh, four, brings up fourth and one. Tannehill and the boys feel like they need to go for it, so they're going to line up to go for it on fourth and one, making some adjustments. Looks like he's setting up for a run, and it is a run. Melvin Gordon ends up gaining two, maybe three yards, and keeps the six moving for him. Second quarter now, two minute warning. First and 10 from the 36 yard line. Tannehill is going to drop back to throw again. Looking deep. Nobody's open. Ends up trying to check it down underneath, and it's swatted away. Bringing up second and ten. Tannehill's going to throw it again. <clears throat> and ends up connecting with John U. Smith on a drag route. Gains about six yards. Third and five. Tannehill's dropping back to throw again. And he's, this time he's hit as he's thrown. Incomplete pass. And, again, the Bears hold the Titans to another field goal. So, uh, our defense is coming out to play. The the first after the first series we haven't uh, given up any, any touchdowns at all we figured out in a way how to stop the run uh gordon is still ripping off some pretty decent chunks of, on the ground but hey the titans are helping us by throwing the ball 
Uh, first and ten, under a minute left. Bears are looking to try to get something going here. Trubisky's dropping back to throw, looking for someone. Ends up throwing up a prayer to Jimmy Graham, and Jimmy Graham just completely mosses the safety and touchdown Bears. Um, that was definitely not playing. Uh, that was just literally a barrel out. I wanted to hit Allen Robinson. He was dou double covered. Uh, I think his user took away um, Anthony Miller. I saw that I had one-on-one -on -one with uh, Jimmy Graham. I said, please, I mean, at least either catch the ball or let it be batted away. Just not an interception. And prayers were answered. Jimmy Graham came in with the uh, touchdown. First and 10 from the 42. Tannehill tried to hit a screen to Melvin Gordon. Ends up throwing this one away and just didn't. There was nobody around at all. Uh, second and 10. Ends up finding A.J. Brown down to the 25-yard line with 25 seconds left. Tannehill's going to throw to A.J. Brown. Khalil Mack is there to break that one up. Oddly enough, you don't see Khalil Mack in his coverage a lot. That could be why uh, I don't have any intercept or sacks. End up getting an interception here uh, with Jalen Johnson. Amazing. Um, amazing play by him. But we're down inside the four-yard line. Good thing I, uh, I, he ended up calling a timeout there. He, I mean, that play could have gone both ways. It looked like we, we had the edge. We were going to run the Wildcat there. Might have been able to get something going. But, hey, he ends up calling a timeout. Third and six. Eight seconds left. Trubisky ends up throwing and ends up throwing an interception right to Kevin Byard. Uh, horrible decision by me to try to get something going with the with the lead that I have, the eight-point lead that I have. I, I shouldn't even bother doing that. I knew that I'd get the ball coming out of halftime. I just was trying. I was. Just, I just got greedy. I saw that I had three timeouts. Thought I could try to get at least in the field goal range. Ended up backfiring and ended up giving the field up a field goal to my opponent when I when he could have just gone in with a uh, we could have gone in with an eight point lead. But anyways, our first drive after halftime, handing the ball off to Cordell Patterson, picks up a gain of about three yards. First down, second and seven from the 35 yard line. Trubisky's gonna drop back to throw, looking can't find anybody open. He decides to take off and run, and we were flirting with the defender there. Um, probably should uh, put a uh, probably should try to slide, but slide features doesn't work. Madden keeps on changing shit up, and I'd rather go out of bounds than try to slide and end up diving on accident and fumbling the ball. Trubisky. Um, anyways, first and center from the 41-yard line. Trubisky's going to drop back to throw, and he has no time at all. Ends up getting sacked and uh, pressure imme pressured immediately by Harold Landry. Coming back one second and 21, and again, Trubisky getting pressured and sacked. Third and 31, pressured again. Oh, my God, I don't know what kind of defense he's running. This time we were able to get rid of the ball, but it was third and 31. I mean, we... Got it to a fourth and 17. The best thing about that, we just added a few more, uh, extra yards onto our punt. Um, first and 10 from the 11-yard line. Tannehill again on a misfire. Had Johnny Smith wide open on corner on a corner route, and just Tannehill is just having a hard time hard time dialing it in. Uh, second down, hands it off to Melvin Gordon. Gordon picks up a gain of nine yards. Sec, uh, third and one, I should say, not second and one. Third and one, Tannehill uh, completes a pass to Melvin Gordon. Looks like they're starting to feature Melvin a little bit more, but they're still not running the ball, which, like I said before, I'm fine with, perfectly fine with, but throwing the ball is not going to be where it's at, and Trubi or not Trubisky, Tannehill ends up throwing the ball away and puts the Bears in scoring position. David Montgomery's trying to just go ahead and take it right now. So I, Ends up taking off for a gain of 33 yards on his first carry of the game, and we're just going to go ahead and try to let Montgomery go ahead and finish off this drive. He's three; he was three yard, yards short. Just go ahead, let let him get this touchdown. So down inside the one yard line, we're try, or inside the five, we're trying to hand it off to him again. Just got stopped shy, one yard short. But want to go back to we're still going to run the ball. We're not throwing it off, but this time we end up putting Cordell Patterson in there. Cordell is able to get in for I think that's his second touch uh, touchdown on the ground. Uh, so now it's 28 to 12, uh, 16. We have a 12-point lead. Uh, this game isn't over by any means at all. Uh, 12, just it's just not entering the fourth quarter. We have a 12-point lead. It's it's not over, um, especially if the Titans start to figure things out, like running the ball. I don't know what it is. Our Bears are just having a difficult time running the ball, but 
for whatever reason, he refuses to run the ball that much with Melvin Gordon. But even if you could just throw the ball to Melvin, like you see right here, Melvin takes off for a gain of about 15, 20 yards uh, on second down. And just like that, they're across the 50, handing it back off to Melvin again. Gains another 10 yards, first down. Back to the run again. This time it isn't Melvin. I don't know who that is. Uh, but he's able to gain four yards. Second and six from the 23-yard line. Tannehill is going to hand the ball off again. And then stop this time. Uh, stop for a loss of one yard. Third and seven. Tannehill is going to drop back to throw. Looking. Can't find anybody open. Almost got our first sack there. It was cool. We were close. We almost got our first sack there. Almost with Khalil Mack. Fourth and seven. Uh, Titans feel like they have to go for it here. Tannehill is dropping back to throw. Looking. And able to connect with Corey Davis down to the eight-yard line. Beautiful comeback right there by Corey Davis. I think Buster Scrime, uh, Scrime was on the coverage there, just unable to get anything. But what we are able to get, Hicks is able to get the Bears our first sack of the season. It's terrible that our, we had to wait till week nine to get our first sack of the season. I'm just glad that we got a sack. It's, it shows that it's possible, even though Madden has a whole bunch of BS. But anyways... Fourth and goal from the seven yard line. Tannehill's looking back, looking to throw. Bears want to get into the, or Titans want to get into the end zone. Ends up connecting with Corey Davis in the back of the end zone. Horrible coverage by me. That was supposed to be my zone. I got caught on all the routes that were running in front of me and off to the right. Didn't even see Corey Davis sneaking behind me on the uh, deep end route. And like I said, this game isn't over. Um, it's far from over. Our lead went from 12 to 5, just like that. 28 to 23. Trubisky's on back on the field with the boys, second and nine, rolls out to the right, and ends up connecting with Anthony Miller down to the 34-yard line. Third and one, Trubisky rolling out right again, and we try to slide, but because they Madden keeps changing the buttons, Trubisky gets caught mid-slide, ends up fumbling the ball, and the uh, Titans are right back in this game now. Uh, First and 10 from the 40, ends up connecting with John Jonu Smith. John is able to take it down to the 17-yard line. First and 10 from the 17, another rollout, and another pass to Jonu Smith. If it isn't broke, don't fix it. Um, Jonu Smith's able to take this one down to the 9-yard line, and they're going to hand the ball off to Melvin Gordon, who takes it down to the 5. Uh, Titans are in scoring position, ready to take the lead right here. Melvin Gordon gets the carry again, gains 2 yards down to the 3-yard line, second and goal. Ryan Tannehill sends a man in motion, running the ball again, up, trying to get up the middle with uh, Melvin Gordon, and he stopped yet again. Third and goal, Titans came out in the formation, didn't like what they had, ended up calling timeout. This is pretty much the game right here. Um, 36 seconds left in the game. Try to run a screen, route, a screen pass to Melvin Gordon. Bears are able to sniff that one out and stop it. Fourth and, uh, fourth and goal. 10 seconds left in the game, taking a shot to, to A.J. Brown, and he stopped at the four. Um, and, yeah, I, I'll just let this play explain itself. I, 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 don't, I don't know what I was doing. I mean, granted, it didn't hurt me at the end. And this is this is just a really weird ending. Um, I thought if I went for I, – I thought I was – I don't know. I thought I was, like, on, like, the two-yard line, so I thought if I went for – to take a knee – um, things wouldn't work out, and I would end up giving up the safety. So I tried to run the ball, and our offensive line just got completely de demolished. And Cordell Patterson gets stopped in the end zone. And I didn't, I don't know if that was just a bug in the game or whatever, but I didn't know that when the free kick, the clock was to, uh, starts to run. I guess neither did my opponent. Ends up calling a fair catch, and then ends up letting it hit the ground. Bears come away with the win because the time expires. Stole this one from Tennessee. You could argue that we should have lost this game. But anyways, I will catch you guys in the next game. Bears move on to 6-3 and three on the season. So for the Bears, the win.